Really big. Big beaver though. What's up guys on my way out to go set some more beaver traps um, found some pretty cool actually a shit ton of uh, bank dens where a farmer had cleaned out a, a dam and it opened up a little water dropped a ton but you can still see where there's activity where the beavers are going in those bank dens even though the water is like oh I don't know 15 yards from the where they can actually get into the water uh, from the bank den. So I'm gonna show you guys, uh, you know, some bank dens and stuff, and let you guys see it and where they're kind of traveling from, basically on land now, and then getting into the water. My plans to uh, set a handful of drowner sets, and then I also got a handful of. 330s with me but still do not have uh, my waders uh, if you guys remember definitely put a hole right in this freaking waders of mine so and actually I don't I might not have actually posted that so I'll look back and see if I post that or not if I didn't post it I'm gonna post it basically right after this interview so you guys can kind of see that so it was a uh, sad sad moment anytime you rip your rip a hole in the waders it's it's a sad moment for any trapper so all right guys i'm gonna get out there show you quick some quick things and then i'll show you a few sets as well uh pretty windy out so i'm not gonna show every single set I'm just gonna kind of explain what i'm doing so all right we'll see you out there see you out there uh, oh no no yep done did it Freaking hole. That's why you don't film and try to multi, you don't try to multitask when filming. Gosh, dang it. All right guys, I'm back over here at this dam again. You guys have seen this quite a bit, I feel like in the videos now. Trap set, trap set looks like. Okay, so I've trapped three big beavers here, guys. Um, or I've had four. Three or four, can't really remember. Um, so I know in a video I told you once it gets kind of hard, which I know there's still beaver in here, guys. I mean, this is a big body of water. It goes all the way back up there a little ways. Um, it goes all the way back up there and then it hits another big dam. Then that hits another pretty good dam. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this a little bit, guys. And I'm gonna break it in probably two spots. And I'm gonna set, move these traps over to here. So let's uh, get these gloves on because it's she's a bit cold. It's supposed to get pretty cold uh, tonight, I believe. Of course, I forgot my damn shovel. I'm just forgetting it, something all the time. It seems like. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like right here. Let's do one right here. Alright. So when you're doing this, you kind of just want to break it in kind of one spot. Well, I guess that's what I do, guys. <sighs> So 
something like that actually. Let's grab this trap. Set that right there, guys. Now, the trick to this, guys, because a lot of coons cross here. I did bring a couple DPs with me. I might throw those up right here and over here, maybe. We'll see. Hitting something hard there. Just like that, guys. All right. See what happens. Let's go to the next one. I'll go ahead and show you this one, too. Got a hole there. I'm going to put it right here, guys. I want this water to go pretty good for the most part, guys. Pretty big log right here or something. And all the sticks, guys. You don't want any sticks back over here where your drowner is going to be going. Pushing the mud down, guys. All right. Come over here. I don't know why that stake's stuck, but it is. there would be pretty good actually spin that just a little it's free to go All right. perfect Setting real level. Just have a little bit of mud under there. Now, there's a good chance that when they come in here, guys, you might catch a stick or their stomach, and you might miss them a couple times, but you'll eventually get them. So, got two pretty good spots where I open it up on the dam, guys. So, all right, it doesn't take very long at all. Double check over here. I always come back after I do this, guys, because all that mud makes it a little bit harder to see. I'm actually gonna adjust that just a little. Perfect. So, all right guys, see what happens. Guys, just got over here to this. I'm actually just below, guys, where the, just got done showing you where I broke that dam. So. Have a couple drowners here. 
like we'll set two right over here. And these gloves. Guys, I cannot believe I forgot my damn shovel. You don't need a shovel, this makes it easier. So you guys can see I farmer coming here with an excavator guys and clean this out. Well, he's got uh, uh, I'm gonna set one right here. He's got um, this all cleaned out, but the beavers have come back already, kind of dammed it up a little bit. And he did this not too long ago, guys. So look right there, there's fresh mud. Right there, beaver or muskrat just did that. Holy shit, that's slick. Holy cow. Whew. That's slick. Real deep out there, guys. I wish I had my shovel so I could really make a good, which I might be able to. Yeah, I'll be able to. That ain't super deep. Deep enough, because I'm, holy shoes. Make a trap bed real quick. Something I get asked too, guys, is when I'm sitting. Ah, damn it. It's so damn slick. When I'm setting these, they ask me how deep the water should be where my trap sets. <sighs> Honestly, it's just a. I like to set about two to three inches deep. I don't really like to set too much deeper than that. I have and I've caught. I just prefer not to. But you can set deeper. It's really, honestly, it's up to you. Like right now, I'd say I'm actually probably a little too deep for what I want. That's perfect. I wish it wasn't so damn slick. Wow, that's, that's hard. That is hard ground. That ought to work. Typically, I always set my trap like this, but if you have to, set it like that, okay? I'm gonna flip that up. Always make sure your trap's setting level. I'm shoving a little bit of mud under it, keep it balanced. Are we caught on here? Okay. If you need to, put a little bit of mud over there, guys. Gosh dang. Freaking cold. All right, so I'm gonna put my caster up here. So usually I'd use that shovel, guys, and I'd dig down more here and bring more water back in here. And I'd typically set my trap right here and have the caster up here. Don't have my shovel. Ground is harder up here, so I'm gonna make do. It's 
Water's pretty cold, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Don't want it to slide off into my trap, though, either. Sliding on me, guys. Some mud underneath it, and hopefully make it stick. I actually don't like how this is setting. But I actually think it'll work. All right. And I forgot my beaver lure up in the ranger, guys. So I'll come back and put the beaver lure right up here. You guys have seen that before, so I'm not gonna show you again. I'll show you when I actually have it on me, but fuck, it's cold. All right, I hope that beaver comes right up here. Now, the thing that sucks about doing right here, guys, that beaver could come right up there, come up here, work that caster. Our goal is for him to come right here, but he could come up along here, he could come over here by me right here, come up. And work this caster i usually like that caster mount to be up here guys but it's maybe i'll try to put some more right here but all right guys stay tuned it's not great but i mean it's sitting good it just i like it to be at least two inches to three inches under so all right i'll get that beaver lure there when i'm done so let's get moving uh, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of bank dents up here. This is actually really cool, so stay tuned, guys. But I want to show you guys some of these bank dents. They're really cool. I still think they're active, guys, uh, just from what it looks like. But just check it out yourself. It looks pretty active through here. There's a lot of tracks. I can't pick out exactly if they're beaver tracks, but they sure the heck look like it. Sorry about that guys, the camera died, so. All right, let's show you this hole right here. Look at that guys, isn't that awesome? Then you get a big, nice spotlight and shine it up in there. So you can see right here, run through here guys. A bunch of holes over there that curls back and goes back up in there guys. Another one right here. You can see the big old his funnels here. It's actually pretty hard still, honestly. Wow. Crazy. And so, okay. So all these holes, I'm not too sure. But I feel like it leads out to here. I guarantee this is a hole. Oh yeah. Yep. So we gotta run right here, guys, and look at it. You can probably, I hope you can see it in the camera. Yeah. See where it's, uh, you can see the run right there. It goes right out there, guys. So, I feel like this is active. And look, I mean, there's no water really here. So, I mean, that's about 15 yards from that hole, guys. Let's jump over here. I got a, one drowner with me, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, a bunch of holes over here guys a bunch of holes over here another bank den hole up there big slide right here guys we're going up to the cornfield look at that guys that is a freaking giant hole wow now there could be coons and stuff living in there you guys can see some corn stalks right there. Oh, it looks like a big old run right through here, guys. Yep. I don't know if you guys see it. Big old hole over there, guys. Look at that run. Look at this run. 
This isn't active, you can tell there's snow right here, so this one's not active. Look right over here, guys. Holy shit. Oh, man. Too soft to walk across. Remember, two big holes right here. So I'll get on the other side over there, guys, but that's a freaking huge banked in over there, guys. Good lord. Another banked in that goes up in there. That, that might be an otter hole over there, guys. I'm not 100% sure, but that one over there, wow, that might be an otter. I don't know. When I think there's an otter, guys, Sometimes what I'll do, because the little travel these waterways, and so will beavers, you can see the run. So I'll try to find the most narrow spot here, which I'm guessing is like literally right here. I'll set my 330 right in the run, and I'll put sticks over here, to basically to fence it off to funnel them right through there. I think I'm gonna do that. More, more bank dens over there, guys. soft eh, might be one there I don't think it is though all right guys so that's just a few of the bank holes that you can see like real clear so I'm gonna grab a couple 330s I'm gonna set a 330 back over here where we kind of first started I think I will go ahead and set a 330 kind of right in this, in the middle of this run. The only thing that sucks is that I think it's pretty soft and I'm gonna get soaking wet probably. So that sucks. But yeah, I'm gonna set for sure two 330s guys and possibly three. Now in my state, you can't put those 330s over the holes. You can't put 220s over the holes. So that's what sucks because you could now you can use a cable restraint but i believe our state the rule is you have to have it at least six inches off the ground if i could get away with it i could potentially try using a cable restraint setting it up about six inches there's another big old hole right over there guys man all right, let's stop talking. I know you guys are tired of me talking, so let's get some some traps in. Just like that. Set, set these latches off. Slide them all the way up. Good. Set right in the center of it, guys. Perfect. Sitting solid. We don't want them to go over the trap. So what I'm doing guys is, oh man, that's hard. There we go. I got my stake right in here. I got my stake right here. And I folded them down, kind of crossed them. So that beaver won't go up and over. He'll just go down guys. He'll go straight down. Well, I should have showed you guys this set because so typically, all right, so this bank right here is right here, but it's plenty soft. See how I basically, the bank's here, and I carve it in. It's a perfect spot for your trap. The beaver's gonna come right up here. Typically, you get you can get a front foot catch or a back foot. When you get that back foot, it's because he's up here just working up on that caster right there. So this right here is perfect, guys. In my book, it's perfect. Other people's books, they might say it's fucking retarded, but 
absolutely perfect to me. I said I hate setting with these damn gloves. People, people get nervous, but I have set traps before, guys, so don't worry. And yes, I've been caught. Perfect. Oh yeah. It's always good when you can set your trap, guys, and immediately just know it, that it's like, yep, that's it right there. Put a little bit of mud and grass over this right here. No sticks. Should slide perfect, guys. All right. Hopefully they don't come up here, guys. Hopefully they come right through here. Like I said though, that wind's supposed to switch tonight and actually be blowing like this. So hopefully when I get that beaver lure on here, it'll cast right through there and they'll just smoke them. All right guys, set a few more sets and get out of here. I just wanna show you this guys. I'm gonna set a 330 right here. I gotta go grab it, but anytime you guys see, this is kind of an older dam, but it's broke through and you can see where they're crossing right through here. And they're crossing right over there. I'm gonna set a 330 right here. I'll spread this out just a little bit, but then I'll cover it back up a little bit. We're gonna have a beaver right there, guys. We're gonna have a beaver right there. Okay, I better change. I better change that up. I hope we have a beaver right here, guys. We should, but I'm just hoping now. Okay. My luck's been pretty bad, so if I say we're going to, probably won't have a beaver at all. But honestly, guys really good spot to catch an otter too guys really good spot so let's get this set and uh get going now this is a time where i do wish i did what 330 did with his latches oh yeah okay so now i need to make sure in front of this trap it's not too low. It should be should be freaking perfect. Okay, got that latch there. This latch is right here. I'm good here. Alright. Sticks. Now we don't want them to swim over it guys so but also you know this is this is normal like they use this all the time probably so i don't want to mess it up too much like i'm going to cover this up right here guys cover this up I'll take this little stick ain't much but it's still a stick should still hold it something like that I mean that should work guys I mean this is perfect set like I said could catch an otter right here guys all right well guys I hope you enjoyed that video uh, I've set some beaver traps got some 330s out we got some drowner sets out Hopefully you guys learned a little bit from those drowner sets. Uh, if you guys can figure those drowner sets out, I mean, they are, you'll, you'll hammer some beavers, especially when it's, because there's, when you trap in these kind of areas where there's tons of bank dens, I mean, I do not have enough 330s to cover all those bank den holes. So <clears throat> those, 
drowner sets will really help you guys and and honestly there's you can set them so quick and fast it's honestly probably the more lazy route but i think it's the smarter route honest personally another thing i didn't mention though guys obviously you wouldn't want to set a drowner set right here guys you wouldn't be able to drown your beaver out in there yes you probably technically could but that is definitely not ideal i mean you want it to be at least three feet deep of water when he slides down he cannot come back up so nothing right here is really ideal but it gets really deep over there guys and you can set a bunch of caster mound sets all through there i got one of my caster mound sets right on a point uh I did forget to mention that anytime I set these caster mount sets, I always try to get on the furthest point basically um, to the water. It's a really big eye appeal. And then I already went around and put the beaver lure, Trapper J's beaver lure, all over those caster mounds. So that's just a an, an bonus added to it because they're going to see it first. They're going to get downwind of it, get that smell, and they're going to go and destroy it. So, all right, guys. Enough of me talking. Hopefully uh, tomorrow uh, we'll have some beavers in the traps and uh, we'll uh, see you then. Appreciate you guys watching this video and don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.